When we grow any crop inside a high tunnel, we do have some uninvited guests, and those are our pests and diseases. Today we are going to talk about some common insect pests. Some of the common insect pests are, uh, we have aphids, we have thrips, we have white flies, and they occur pretty commonly inside high tunnel crop production, especially with tomatoes and pepper. Now there are strategies uh, which you can undertake uh, to minimize uh, these pests inside your high tunnels. Number one is when you move your transplants, when you move your transplants into the high tunnel, make sure the transplants are free of these insects. So scout your transplants, make sure they do not have any aphids, no white flies, because you are introducing them in a high tunnel if you don't do that carefully. So these are tomato transplants which are ready to go out into the field. Uh, we want to make sure we scout them, no aphids, no thrips, I mean these look healthy. We also want to make sure that the root system is healthy. And you can see that here, uh, nice uh, white uh, healthy roots here, which means these, this plant will take the uh, transplant shock uh, uh, really well and it's going to grow into a beautiful looking tomato plant with, which will produce a lot of tomatoes for us. Number two uh, is to monitor them. So once you plant your crop inside the high tunnel, be there, uh, scout and look for these insects, look for aphids and look for the symptoms. For example, if you see curling of leaves, if you see yellowing of leaves, those are symptoms. So look for pests uh, at that time. How can you look for those pests? You can easily buy these sticky cards, which are not that expensive. You can buy a box of sticky card, a yellow colored sticky card, a hundred pack would cost you about $30. They also come in another color because we have to make things colorful, right? We, the other color is blue, and that helps to trap uh, uh, thrips. So on these sticky cards, you'll see these insects sticking, and that's the way uh, you know that those pests are inside your high tunnels, and it's time to spray or, or manage them. There are different ways you can manage these pests. Of course, we want to choose the more sustainable route and use beneficial insects. So these insects would go and you know uh, eat or, or kind of uh, uh, parasitize these pests. For example, in case of aphids, we have aphid predators called Aphidolitus uh, aphimiza, and these predators go and eat those aphids out. There are parasitic wasps that go and parasitize aphids. So those are uh, good control measures, beneficial insects. White flies. In case of white flies, we have parasitoids. Uh, for example, Encarcia formosa, a very commonly used parasitoid uh, to manage white flies. We have Erythmocerus erymicus, again, very commonly used, and they're not that expensive. Uh, a box, uh, uh, a bottle would cost anywhere from 20 to $30. But the expense comes in the repeated use. So with these beneficials, it's not just one time application. You have to apply them every two to three weeks. So it will add on to your cost, but you are managing your pests more sustainably without using harsh chemicals and pesticides. So this is an interesting approach which we are trying here is how to bring beneficials inside the high tunnels. So what we do is the end two rows, instead of planting into tomatoes, we plant an ornamental plant called sweet alyssum. Now what the sweet alyssum does is that it produces flowers perpetually. It just keeps producing flowers till the end of fall. There will be a big patch of uh, about two, three feet wide uh, uh, section here running around uh, across the uh, high tunnel which will have white flowers. And these white flowers, what they do is that they attract the beneficials, the ladybugs, a lot of uh, uh, flies, a lot of parasitic wasps come in here and they help to manage the pests, the aphids, uh, which could be inside here in the high tunnel. So this is a biological way of managing uh, uh, insect pests. And this is the sweet alyssum plant. Uh, uh, the way we usually plant them is we, we use transplants because we want them to establish well. We put them in two rows. Uh, these rows are about 10 inches apart and within the row we have plants again 10 inches apart. So it's a 10 by 10 uh, planting system. But at the end of the fall this will be almost this wide uh, area covered with nice white flowers which attracts a number of beneficials. If uh, uh, pests get out of hand and you see that their population is flaring up, you can use some biopesticides too. You don't have to go to a harsh synthetic chemical. Some of the biopesticides, soft biopesticides that can be used include horticultural oils, uh, there is a, a pyganic, uh, there are products for, for example insecticidal soap, uh, and then neem oil. These work really well. 
pest population grows really fast and if you're not able to scout them, if you're not able to uh, keep uh, an upper hand on, on when they come, they, their population can flare up. And in that case, you might have to move on to some harsher synthetic chemicals. The ones which we recommend are the active ingre ingredients, the s rate. Uh, malathion, carbaryl, these are commonly used insecticides to manage these pests inside high tunnels. You always should follow the label, the instructions, what the rate is, when you should be applying, what is the re-entry period and what's the post-harvest interval. It's absolutely important that we follow those rules so that we produce crop that is safe to consume. When you're growing tomatoes and peppers inside high tunnels, you walk in and you see this entire plant completely chewed down what's happening and if you look closer you see this nice you know bulky little guy hanging onto your plant and that's the hornworm. Hornworm can decimate your crop within days and if you don't manage it properly you can lose your entire crop. Hornworms can be easily managed using biological insecticides. One of the most commonly used insecticide is the Bt, Bacillus thuringiensis. Two sprays of Bt every three to four days will help you manage and contain these hornworms. But again with the hornworms it's important that you walk in your high tunnels, scout, look for them and when you look, when you find them, either pull them out if they're very few by hand and crush them or use the Bt formulation. Scout for these insects inside the high tunnel, manage them to ensure that you have a great quality crop. So here are the top five common mistakes which we see that growers make. Number one is the site selection. Before even you put a high tunnel, make sure you uh, scout the site and make sure the site has good drainage, 